Because what he does show you is if he's a part of your organization, he's going to go hard for your organization. But the organization is not going hard for you. They, pause. They, they're only using you until they find something better. Who did I see say this? Corey Holcomb. Corey Holcomb mm -hmm. said, a lot of you females, and I'm not going to talk about a female, I'm just using an example. And it's probably, females, it can go vice versa, but I'm using, I'm, I'm quoting Corey Holcomb. He said, a lot of you females don't know that y'all a good job away from not being not in a relationship no more. Mm. <laughs> Nigga said, he's just with you because he ain't got nowhere else to go, boo. <laughs> he said, let the right check come along and the nigga's out. Pat Bev, it's almost like that too. If, if, uh, let a good trade come along. That nigga's trading you, my nigga. Let a nigga call you tomorrow for Leo. Yo, 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 want Zach Levine? And we, yes, yes, give us Zach Levine. So I will be a choice. What he does show you. Stop being so sensitive, bitch. <laughs> Ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titties done. Is Trina there? Trina. sound begin we about to go in let's do it, let's do it. yeah yeah you ain't never seen no show like this cracking jokes and singing we won't miss 5150 up in this bitch, yeah. You ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss. Trying to make you laugh until you kiss, yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this. It's on. it's on. I'm about to say some real things. Rip the mic and bring the pain. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this. Show with no sponsors, no nothing, but we be out there. You understand what I'm saying? I'm Corey Holcomb, Darlene OG Ortiz, Craig Smith in the house. Oh, official. Oh. We started the show with the brother mentioning uh, a quote I made because I want to lead into something with that. You know what I'm saying? Craig, you say they, they what's it, wait a minute, I'm sorry, I forgot. What's the name of the podcast again? It's called. Uh... Damn, that's fucked up. We forgot <laughs> the name of the podcast. It is what it is. It is what it is. Shout out to the yeah. legend. Right. Well, it is what like it that. is, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all motherfuckers, man. Salute, man. Big shout out to y'all, man. I, 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 when I saw that, it reminded me of something that I, I said, I'm going to make sure I talk about it this week on the show. You know what I'm saying? Um, we, um, we just worked the Miami Improv this week. And uh, I'm saying, like, we hear this phrase out there called black girl magic. Yeah. And I, I, I wish, I got well wishes for black girl magic. I, I, I'm glad they come out with phrases that are of unity. But let me tell you something, man. Brothers who are in a good mental space most of the time are always respectful to the next man. For sure. Yeah. 
When we are in poverty and trying to fight our way up out of the gutter, mentally we not right. Because poverty brings a certain level of, <clears throat> of, of resentment, regretment, and bad energy to a lot of people. But I'm saying, it is, my, it is my experience in this world that brothers who have um, found a way mentally to get themselves together. I'm not talking about financially, but I'm saying mentally, once we together, we really do have brotherly magic when we're amongst each other. And it doesn't really get called out. It's not promoted in society. I have been helped by so many men and women, but I'm just saying it's promoted like brothers. Um, we always at each other neck and all like that. We're not always at each other neck. Like we just saw the brother right there. He, he knew what he was doing. He, he kind of gave me a little love and I appreciate it, man, because that's what we do when we are at the point of being level-headed and out of the gutter. We're mm -hmm. not in competition with everybody we see no more, even though some of us ain't never been in competition with nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least you didn't know it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, got, you got something to say, Craig? No, I said niggas be in competition, but they don't be having shit. How you competing with, with no uniform, no Oof. no ball? You ain't even got a ball to, to play the game with, you know mm. what I'm saying? You just... Trying to keep up with a motherfucker, but yeah, mm. I agree. You just all messed up in the head, huh? Just yeah. Another example of that, like, <laughs> when I was in Miami this week working at the um, <clears throat> Miami Improv, one of the um, brothers who played for the Dolphins, Xavier Howard, he's their safety. He came to the show, and he invited us to the football game oh, that's dope. on Sunday, and I had a ball. Brother, I appreciate you, man. Making sure we had them good ass seats. We was sitting down there, goddamn it. There wasn't that many people sitting next to us either. No. I mean, it was people around us, but we had that elbow room. I yeah. was like, cool. I appreciate you, brother. Brother, he from Houston. Okay. I should have I should have asked him what college he went to, but he played for the Miami Dolphins. Oh, thank Look, you, Eli. the Miami Dolphins and the, they played the Raiders. Raider fans be deep in everybody's stadium. Don't oh, matter yeah. where they oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Them motherfucking right Raider now. fans be in there. <laughs> like, God damn, there's a lot of these motherfuckers. <laughs> but um, I'm saying I get these examples of brotherly love, man, because uh, we don't really we don't really get that in society, and we don't get credit for that in society. It's not taught at any of these institutions. Brotherly love. I don't know about it. If it is, am I missing out? Mm. I don't know where they teach us about brotherly love. And it's a very important element in society. Brotherly love is not necessarily giving somebody something, but paying people homage and respect right. one way or another. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, we have to learn how to not be in competition with everybody all the time, man. Because, yo, we, we, you, it's really your job. I, I, a lot of people don't know this. But do you know it's your job to help your brother, give him information that can help him? Right. And not let him, not see him in the dumps. Sure. And you get all this, and you see your brother in the dumps. Right. You're really supposed to help your brother. It's just we're not taught that in this society. Right. I think somebody told me, I asked young brother Nail, did he know something about uh, masonry or whatever? Do they teach that? You got a mic over there, Niall? That you said, wait, I asked Hold you, on. somebody told me they teach it amongst the Masons. Amongst the Masons, yeah. You gotta yeah. like you gotta pledge yourself to get into there and then raise in degrees of knowledge. But people who have learned it, they go out and they might break the code to the best of my knowledge mm. and share some of it. Like I've learned a little bit of what they teach by way of like the minister. But do they teach brotherly love? That I don't know. Oh, mm. okay. Somebody told me it's, it's part of the whole lick, but I'm just saying, I am aware in society we don't teach brotherly love. We they, teach. They do. That's why Philadelphia is called the city of brotherly love. It was established by Masons. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's dope. There you go. There you go. We got to talk about mm -hmm. this stuff because we are prone to go in on the opposite of brotherly love. We like to... Or the best of us like to start beefs amongst the brothers. I mean, I'm getting told that 
The other day when I was talking about Christian comedy, I was talking about one person in particular, and I wasn't talking about one person in particular. I'm talking about everybody who hustled Christian comedy. You know what I'm saying? Right. I wasn't just talking about, everybody was talking about, oh, Corey oh, talking about uh, Kev on stage. Oh. I'm uh, like, wow, okay, so that's the only Christian comic out here? You know what I'm saying? I've been, you know how long I've been doing comedy and have been victimized by Christian comics? Man. Wow. They think they better than everybody else. This has been going on. Man, I've been doing comedy, man, since motherfucking on the 90s side of the game. So everybody who think that I'm not um, man enough to say who I'm talking about. Oh, you um, would have said if Stop that, y'all. Yeah. Don't don't try to turn one brother in particular mm -hmm. against another brother in particular. That's cowardly. If I don't say it, that means I wasn't talking about one person in particular. I'm talking about the whole spectrum of, of the um, brothers who claim Christianity first in front of their comedy and don't display Christianity on a number of occasions. There was a, there was a clip where uh, the brother uh, Kev on stage was... Um, Talking about um, the brother who passed. Teddy Ray? The, the brother who gave all the information to the ladies and they hate him for it. Oh, Kevin Sanders. Yeah. And um, when he died, uh, there was a clip out uh, how um, it was sort of like a moment of nah to some people. Mm. And he uses that in his stand up? Well, I saw, I saw the brother. Uh, I saw the brother Kev on stage talk about his living arrangements, because you know um, I think Kevin Samuels wasn't living in no house and all like that. So a lot of people bring that up, but that doesn't mean that doesn't necessarily mean I'm talking about one person, because sincerely from the heart, I'm talking about everybody who put Christian comic in front of their shit. You are on the scope with Corey Holcomb. Hell yeah, me too. Yeah. A church is just a room full of people all scared of the same shit. <laughs> I mean, nigga, the truth. How come I never been in church and seen nobody stand up and say, hey man, what the fuck you doing with all the money? <laughs> oh, dang it. Damn. It's that's dope. That's, that's the most basic question that niggas should be asking. But don't nobody ever ask it, man. Because if they want to, they can have a graph up of where the money is at all times. Mm -hmm. Right. But they don't do that. Yeah. So that's why it's a little, eh. And why God well, always God. calling you about my problems, nigga? You do know he got everybody's number, right? He even wrote a book about it. It's called Numbers. Melvin Thomas <laughs> gave some information about uh, masonry teaches the three principal tenets, which are brotherly love, relief, and truth. See, a lot of people don't know that. Hmm. Right. That's why I'm glad people are... Given this information. Yeah, thank Because I don't know. know a lot about brotherly love. All I know is we're going to mix it up. And next thing you know, what's the name? Got to be for what's the name. That shit's so played out, man. I see through that shit. Like, when you watch the internet, most of the time, they be like, Jordan versus LeBron, who you got? I be like, I hate that goofy <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. I be like, God damn it, they both was good, motherfucker. Or like if somebody says, who's your top five of anything or whatever, and then the moment that you don't say something in the right order that they maybe said it, yeah. then they start hating on you like, uh, oh, how can that be? It's like, oh my God, that's just to each well, his own. I, 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 that you goes know? back to what I was saying, D. Pos poverty brings misery. So you can't argue mm. with a motherfucker that ain't got shit about nope. nothing. Mm -mm. <laughs> right. yeah. Because especially, I'm not talking about a young guy. A guy in his 20s, early 30s, yeah. who has nothing, I don't think it's nothing to be too embarrassed about yet. But when you fought it, still on ground zero, <laughs> come wrong. Come wrong. You been on this planet 40 years? You ain't found a lick? Get mm. the fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> Get your motherfucking ass up out of here. But yeah, to put that, yeah, just to put that, because it's, mm -hmm. it's out there. Like Corey was talking about Kev on stage. I ain't talking about Kev on stage. I, if I was going to talk about something, it was a lady in the room who was really rubbing it in about when um, when there was the passing of Kevin Samuels. He, a lot he, of ladies. He was, I sitting, he, was sitting on, he was sitting at a desk next to a lady who was really rubbing it in. Mm. I ain't going to say her name. And don't tell me she called herself a Christian, too. And was Man, these are, these are self-proclaimed good people. Mm. 
Don't, don't, mm. I have watched this Kevin Samuels um, um, a lot because he's on everybody broadcast mm -hmm. now. Now that he did, now that the mm. brother has passed, everybody run with his stuff. That's real shit. It's frozen. You know, let me let me let me say this: uh, If you're the type of person, if you're a YouTuber, <clears throat> who basically like this show right here, mm -hmm. we have to produce it. If you're a YouTuber who basically preys off programs that are produced, you're allowed to pray off of, is that something where you, your hands are clean? Because, yo, you can't pray on certain stuff that's put out there by Mr. Feinstein, them, if you know what I'm saying. Right, right, You right. can't touch they stuff, hmm. but... The brothers who put stuff out, if you are basically one who preys off everybody's production, are you a good person? Now, is your show all based around other people's productions, or do you, you, because I've, I watch people, there's a, there's a guy that I like, one of my favorites, and he, whenever he does use someone else's show, like a quote they said or did or showed before him, he'll give major props. Like he'll right. even give their links and yeah. he'll put their, you know, their names or whatever up and say, hey, thank you for that. And he'll be like, I, I, like he'll admit that, look, I grabbed this from her because she knew about it better than me or what have you. So I, I like that, that he does that. So you're saying he's proper and when he- um, Borrows. Or what is it called when they, um, when they uh, talking through your show? When they're talking through your show, Ooh, you know they 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 grab your show and reaction like a, like a, reaction video. They grab yeah like reaction grab. videos. Mm -hmm. So he's a reaction video guy who gives the information of where he got the source. Right. Yeah, like if there's something that he doesn't know too much about, or if the other person has gotten ahead of it before him, he'll he'll show it. He'll show yeah. their clip and he'll say, and he'll even show the name of who it, who it was or who said it first or what have you. He's he's pretty yeah. thorough like that, but. I guess be, that's cool, but I'm just saying. I, I mean, matter of fact, show. I'm not. I'm not tripping on nothing. Nobody does because I believe I allow it. Mm. I know the secret to making it where it's hard to fucking run with your show, and I'm not saying I'm not finna do that. I'm saying <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not finna make it hard for people to run with the 5150 show because I I think I know how to fix it. Yeah. But what I'm saying is. Thank These you, people will criticize a wretch, mm -hmm. meaning like sexy red them, <laughs> but they run with everybody's show. That's their source of income, what you do. Mm. Is, that, is that respectable? Well, they'll use no. somebody like that as a subject, like they'll base their whole show around her. Yet you're here, you are talking about her negatively, but you're using her as... I don't show. think nobody should be able to play more than a minute or two of somebody's show. Right. Or how about how about when they for use a reaction it? video? Right. right. And how about uh, are the ones I don't like are the ones that actually use it as their header. In other words, like you see, they put a picture. That's of you. what I'm saying. A oh, title. All of a sudden, I'm like, yeah. wait a second. That's not the video. Is that respectable? That's what I'm saying. See, I don't like that. That I don't yeah. like. Quarry slaps a baby. You be like, <laughs> what the? Yeah. What the fuck is this sucker? Like, wait ass a second. Shit. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's like we uh, find uh, people in society like clickbait, to... Huh? Is that considered clickbait then? Because mm -hmm. they're using him? Clickbait. That is what I it's know, called. Pretty yeah. much, because they're using your face, right? It's like yeah. Without <clears throat> no... You don't get no money for this. I'm not getting no money for this. But I know I produced that show that they showing eight to nine minutes of. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. I'm like, yo, they, people should be able to... Somebody say... Yeah, some reaction channels have gotten rich from, from you content creators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they have. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, what the fuck I'm going to do? I can't stop that shit unless I'm going to do some drastic shit. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, you don't steal Mr. Feinstein's produced show. So how does that make you feel? Do you feel like, oh, it's justified. I can't do it. Because I can fuck your mama. <laughs> if I meet your mama, I could smash most of the time. I'm at that age where most people, mama, really want to pass me that monkey. <laughs> I'm just giving it to you for real. I hate meeting people, mama, because I'm at that age. 
<laughs> he a dirty old man. <laughs> I'm at that age, man. So many people, mama, want to give me some pussy, man. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? So they say, I'm shooting shots. I ain't shooting shots. I'm just speaking on it. I watch the internet sometimes, especially when I'm on them airplanes, and I see what's said, and I... I'm not the type of person who gets upset quickly about things, but I, I just want people to know, like, putting this, okay, some people have made fun of, remember when we was in the storage? Yeah. Yeah. It still costs money to put them shows together. Man. That's, I ain't making money. That, hey, shit, that shit is, that shit was so tight. Oh, oh my God, way, I miss that. Man. Even though that storage place we was in, I, I like nice. it. Yeah, that shit was huge the only as hell. Was the internet thing. The That's, internet was yeah. tripping, but now yeah. we got that now fixed. Now we got we, that fixed. I got fiber optics that? up in there. It's that like, yeah. yo, we, hey. we come here to the World Famous Coin Academy, which is a blessing. blessing. Oh, wow. What a beautiful place. A blessing. Macca and, and, and D. Go Deep, Mac and Go Mac and, rest in and, peace. and and rest in peace. Layla, <clears throat> man, one of the truest leaders I ever seen. Layla led sternly, but never really deboed nobody. He yeah. had that look. Don't have to, yeah. Layla, like like, uh. if you bullshit, he <laughs> look at you. Be like, oh, that nigga oh, ain't bullshit. Shit, yep. <laughs> <laughs> we like. <laughs> wasn't even a stank eye. It's just a look. Right, it wasn't no stank eye. It's just, no just that eye. man look yeah. that yeah. we all need to learn in school one day if you don't get it. Just, yeah. <laughs> to let a motherfucker oh, thank know. Thank you, Willie Birch. I'm saying, That's man, sweet. I got to call out everybody. Mm. I got to call out everybody. When you use people to get rich off of, do you use them because you can? And if you do, though, do you do Are you, you taking advantage of a situation? It's just like babies who can't talk. You can't trust them with nobody. <laughs> you stupid. If that's your baby and your baby can't talk, you can't leave them with nobody. Now, do you give them a pass, though, Corey, if they do give proper props about using, like if they use something? Like I said, I don't like the ones that use a picture or have like a, it in their title, like Corey Holcomb said. It's like, what? That's not Corey's show. Mm -hmm. um, but if let's just say they use a clip inside their entire content, right? for that particular show, and they gave... Anybody hustling me bogus, motherfucker, oh, if I ain't period. getting paid. Oh, okay. That's why you can't hustle Mr. Feinstein, because Mr. Feinstein yeah. want his ends. So you take advantage of Corey or whoever else because you see that ain't nothing happened to you yet. Mm. It's all a motherfucking hustle. The motherfuckers, what the fuck, give somebody a pass? There ain't no passes in the, in the real world. Some people I respect, some people I don't, but I'm telling you, when you hustle okay. a nigga... Like me, I peep it. <laughs> shit, I ain't blind to nothing. Mm -mm. All them smiles and all that shit. Yeah, yeah all right, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. We know what it is, though. We know why. We know why. Clips of Saturday Night Live ain't all on your shit like that. And if yeah. it do, it get taken down eventually. Ooh, yeah, Man. don't make you clip that out. We know why you ain't playing a whole movie on your thing. We know why you don't play, watch this. Mm -mm. We know why you don't play music on your thing, because that's one thing YouTube will flag your ass down for if you got somebody music on there. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. YouTube will flag you down. So what they do, some of these motherfuckers take my clips and put their music behind it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cake ass niggas, but they're they're swapping down like everybody who page I got taken down. They say, Corey, I was doing you a favor. Like, <laughs> that's why I don't like niggas doing me a favor. Cause when you put them on the spot, that's the first thing they say. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> you, you don't get your goof ass us. the fuck out of here, nigga. You ain't doing shit for me, nigga. So we think, Corey. Oh, right, uh -huh. nigga, I got love for you. Yeah. The fuck out of here, nigga. Anyway. I'm talking about it because it got to be talked about, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't talk about this mm -hmm. shit, it just go on forever and ever without nobody even really bringing up the necessary necessaries. Yeah, is that sure. a, damn, is that a phrase? Like, yeah, you just made necessary? it, yep. You, wow. just, uh, you just coined it. <laughs> in, in. <laughs> mm -hmm. But is it that people, people, is it, let me ask you a question. D, do you think that people don't know, they just don't have a sense of healthy boundaries? Do you think uh, that's what it is? No. I think a majority of the time, the way I see it, it is blatantly, like, they're, they're using it. They know it. They have to. 
Yeah. There's no, there's no if, ands, or buts around it. Like I said, when it's just, when I, um, it's because of the algorithms, when I open up my um, YouTube and I'm like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought, that ain't, wait, that's not Abe's yeah. cover. That's not the, the header. You know what I'm saying? Our header. Who, who is this? All of a sudden it's Corey's face. Or Corey, <laughs> I was like, wait a second now. It's not maybe even the name. They didn't even have the name. It's a picture. You know that, right? That they do, they use, they use your picture. And I don't like that. They use I'm your like, name and likeness, but they can't use Mr. Feinstein's name and likeness. Oh, no. They're going to mm. snatch that. They got the laws. What do you think, Craig? Yeah. Man, people know when they take <laughs> advantage. It's just like, you know, you ever notice in life if you get low on money or you don't have a certain resource like you used to, certain motherfuckers stop coming around. Yeah. That's on oh, yeah. purpose. Nigga, mm-hmm. they know you ran out. Ooh, you, you see what they you were know, there for, you, yeah. you, you ain't by yourself when you're struggling because uh, it's an accident. Motherfuckers, they can sense, they can smell it on you. Oh, that motherfucker ain't got no more popcorn. That's Let me go right. to no, another okay. theater and sit next to somebody that got that big bag. You Thank know what God I mean? it happened now. Let him go. Yeah, Shit. it's to some motherfuckers you a lick, man. Yeah. The only people who I think that really don't know about boundaries... Bitches, you fucking. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. God, I know it was going to circle back. God dog it. But D, it ain't hate, Don't it's the truth. Know. Bitches, you fucking make your mouth drop with what they expect. Oh, that's some real shit. I could even go. You be like, this bitch ain't even playing. She dead ass. <laughs> what about Super. when they cross okay. boundaries <laughs> and they don't like some of the shit they find and they try to use that against you? I bitch, you ain't supposed to be on this side anyway. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be in my phone, bitch. Ooh. The you phone? are not supposed yeah. to be going through. You ain't supposed to be. How are you using something you found during a breaking and entering against me? You broke the law to get that information, bitch. Mm. How about that? Mm. Let me tell you what happened to me. <laughs> Man. You know them spiders? You, them K&M yeah. spiders? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boy, why did I have one of them in mm. like 2010? Boy! Yeah. Oh, so everybody could just see you coming. This too. bitch I'm fucking saw me pull up with Thank it you, at the comedy store. Do you know what that bitch said? What? How you got one of them and they gave me nothing? Oh, oh hell no. Oh, yeah. I was like, and this bitch is not playing. <laughs> she meant that. Wow. Clueless mind. Hope that was the last time she spoke to you. Or no, you I had to keep it. fucking her. She had to oh, hook up oh. or something. <laughs> Here we go. She had to hook up on something. But I'm saying, like, I can name these type of stories. Every, almost, almost every woman I ever been around has no clue when they're out of pocket. I didn't have bitches show up at my house because I didn't answer the phone. I declare war then. When you pop up, when you pop up unannounced, you have declared war. Uh Yeah, you can't do criminal activity and then and then try to get a righteous outcome for yourself. Pop my up. neighbors my neighbors love me because they done seen me motherfucking on the body shot side of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers showing up at my motherfucking door. Yeah. Talk about you ain't answering your phone. Bitch, I, I got other shit to do. Yeah. Have I ever had a bitch over while I motherfucking um, did that shit? I don't even remember, but I'm just saying. Women will pop up on your ass just to motherfucking see what you're going to do if I do that. Right. Back talking about that sense of boundaries. Yeah. Of yeah. course, <clears throat> men will do things too, D. I'm sure men have violated your boundaries in all kinds of ways. Just, just think about it before you say it, D. I don't want you to hang yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. No, the, the worst one that comes to mind quickly, but I already spoke about that before. What's the, the worst one, one? The fireman. Oh, what'd he do? He showed up at your house? No, he was already at my house, but he started talking and said something crazy, so I told him he had to leave. Oh, and, and yeah. He, and he didn't move. Remember I tell you? So I had to get my thing and just had it in my hand. I didn't have it pointed at him. I just had it in my hand. He wouldn't leave your house? And he just would not leave. He said, oh, I take that. You can't take that back. What just came out of your mouth, you can't take that back. What did he say? It was crazy. It had to do with that. Remember when that guy, Scott Peterson, that killed his, his wife, the pregnant wife, yeah. and was having an affair with that lady? He had said something like, oh, I can see how somebody can do I was like, wait, what? And he was swinging his glasses by the arm, like real weird. And I was like, oh, he's nutty. He's something, he's wait, crazy. Wait, what happened with Scott Peterson again? He, killed he was girl. having an affair with this other woman, and his wife was pregnant. 
with his son, almost about to give birth, and he killed the wife with the baby. Of course, the baby ended up coming out. Well, that other bitch pussy was magnificent. Yeah, <clears throat> bitch had a fruit, fruit. No, either that or he just That's that weak. Come on now, just divorce the brother. What a weirdo. But yeah, so when he spoke it's about It's easy that, to dismiss him as weak. Yeah. What he did was wrong. Yes. In <laughs> fact, Completely. I would say, I would say was beyond sick. wrong. He, right. killed, he killed his wife and his baby? Well, no. Well, she, the baby died. So when you kill somebody like that, the baby comes out. It came out, so they found the baby and her the, as separate. So. Oh, that's cold. That is cold. It was, it was already almost, it was, she was about to give birth. To, anyway, he spoke crazy like that. And I said, Man, you got to leave. Crazy. And he was like, what did I say? I said, just don't worry about it. Just not So he me. was kicking it with you and then woe you But he out, was already, no, but we were. had to get out over no, we didn't. TV. <laughs> D, that ain't right. And wait, though. What was funny is, funny here, because me and my auntie... You kicked my, him out for his opinion. We start laughing. His opinion? He was crazy. No, he came over because we were going to talk about what happened the night before. That was when this other guy... Was, Did he smash, D? No. Not when he came over at that moment. No. No, not that moment. But he did bring all his gear because he thought that he was going to give me like a little show with all his little fireman gear. So you used to have a nigga dancing and fireman shit around you, D? <laughs> D, stop talking, D. You going to hang I didn't... <laughs> What do you mean? I said, that shit is hot. <laughs> that shit. Nothing somebody wrong say, with that. When somebody you say them, Craig replaces light bulbs uh, and Diddy House. Yeah, this sweater is He was being small. honest. They he was being crazy on us. Small this sweater. It is small. <laughs> it's an XL. should be a double X. Huh? Oh, you just can't bring yourself to go up one more, huh? Yeah, I just... Shit, I'm... <laughs> Don't dry it. Next time you wash it, just hang it up. People yeah. try you at your house. I want everybody to know that. Like, if you have a house and you invite people over, especially mm -hmm. people you fucking, your house no, is lying. going God's to be truth. violated due to jealousy. I can't even imagine a woman doing right <laughs> by a man in his house. He said I was dating Magic Mike, huh? <laughs> like, if you, every woman I ever had at my house did something that is Unbelievable. Everyone <laughs> did some shit where you like, bitch, you done lost your motherfucking mind. I done had all kind of shit. Panties, that's the obvious shit. Bitch love leaving panties. You know who they is. What size is them? Them large? That bitch! Mm -hmm. I didn't have my I didn't have my place recorded. Oh, me too, yeah. I didn't had a little speaker put no. in my place. There. Is that right? <laughs> a speaker? Little thing that record everything. Me fucking other bitches and everything. And they still probably still stayed around. <laughs> well, what they gonna do? They, I mean, That's what like, I'm saying. I'm why, saying people, it's like, why would anybody go through that and then still do I don't understand. But that. no, what when somebody records you in your house, it makes it where you're not Feeling safe in your house. Period. That's it. Yeah. This bitch heard me talking to my other bitches. She heard <laughs> everything I said to her repeated. No, you do not do that. What? I'm about to think of new shit for every bitch. <laughs> That's not going to happen. They all fall for the same shit. Oh. You special. What else, Greg? Oh, man. <laughs> you stand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the one, all that shit. Oh, yeah. The best line is, cool. you, you the one I really like. Like, hey, you the man. one I care about. You think any other bitches be over here? All that shit. Mm -hmm. It was recorded. <laughs> recorded. Can you imagine if you are being recorded, the shit people got on you and the other bitches? Well, let mm -hmm. me ask you a question, because I thought it was just me, right? But I be feeling like at the point where we at, like, some people be starting... Shit with you just so they can record it, like conversations on the phone. You ever feel like a motherfucker oh, recording a conversation? But like, wouldn't what? you know every that, conversation though? you have in this day of time, you should anticipate it being recorded. Mm -hmm. yeah. These bitches got apps that they fucking was made to start some shit with. Right. I found a couple of trackers on my cars. Really? I didn't have. I, didn't I have still, one of them yeah. Apple things on my car. Is I still one? have it all, all day. If you go to the spy shop back in the day in Beverly Hills, there used to be the spy shop. On Sunset. Yes. I and it, and that. it still stands up, but they have a little machine. It's not that expensive, you guys. You seriously can pick up anything in your room or on your car, or just in, around you that is recording. Most people don't know they're being recorded, though. Yeah. We, ever since the last, definitely the last 
three to four years, most of the shit is being recorded, dog. Right. On the iPhone, you can snapshot somebody without them knowing. Right. So just imagine, when you talking on the phone, or if you FaceTiming on the phone, mm-hmm. they can snapshot you. You're going to be like this. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I, I had somebody mm-hmm. around me. I ain't going to say no names. But the mom, Why not? You said it like almost like you wanted to... I do, but I'm gonna leave it. Alone. Oh, you're gonna tr- you're trying to like reprimand him secretly on here? History. It was a dude? No, it doesn't look like I it. Gonna say. What he record y'all doing? Not this nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stupid? But no, this nigga would always ask questions oh. about or say suggestive things about other people. You know how a nigga will say something that is sly or would make you think something is up with somebody? But not like outwardly say it. They'll right. Just, they'll just and you're pose like, why are question. you asking that? Yeah, you're right. Like, what the hell? Me I'm old. Like, yeah. why don't you talk to that motherfucker about it? Why exactly. Are you and I start to, like, this nigga always asking me about other motherfuckers. I start to realize this motherfucker is recording. Yeah, something's up. Some, why, why are you having a conversation with me about that nigga when he's right there? Go talk to the nigga. Mm. Because he mm. want to tell that nigga what you said. Exactly. <laughs> So you pick up on that type a of A man shit. who of record course. other men, dog, oh, you need to be in isolation. They need to fly you to an <laughs> island of the recorded niggas. Men yeah. who record other men, that's that's borderline backdoria. That shit crazy. I can't, I can't, man, please. Well, how please. about people just taking someone's word just because they know you? You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like What right. you mean? Like, I've had people... Tell somebody that I know. Darlene, hold on. Let me just say this to you. Watch it, because you always hang yourself. <laughs> what do you mean, watch it? What do you okay, mean? go ahead. Dude. Why would I hang myself in telling a story like that? I'm just saying, like, when you be telling the stories, my mind asks you a question, and you always be stuck right after that. That's I'm so stuck. worried about what you finna say. I, what? That is not. What do you mean? And something like that. Go! Go! No, I've recently had a couple of people... In the last several years, come and tell me about people I know, right? right. Of course, the people are already like, eh, you know, falling off, whatever. And they, they say, hey, this, you know, this person is out there saying this about you, right? Right, right, right. So I'm like, and you believe that? And I look at them and they're like, no, nah, I'm just letting you know that right. that's how they are. I go, I've been knowing that. That's why they not like if that with me. If they brought it to you, they believe it. No, no, I no. I don't not. think so, no. Because a lot of times people want to just tell you, look, you know this person ain't, ain't right, right? And you're like, yeah, don't yeah. you see? That's why that person is not really like this with me. Yeah. Well, but the fact the per- that. I'm sorry. No, no, no. But I always trip off of the fact that those other people telling me want to believe it more because they go, oh, but, but, but that's because they know you. And I'm like, yeah. nah, so you're, so you're just going you're gonna to take their word. How, yeah. Shame on you. So then I look at that person twisted like, huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I look yeah. at that person like, how the hell people, you brought that to me? People who do that, that's always telling you, like trying to, that's trying to create doubt about other people to you, mm. they pick up on the insecurity Mm-hmm. And they're just exploring. They, what they're trying to do is create and exploit insecurities in a situation so they can eventually be in control and at the top of that situation. There it is. You know what I'm saying? Yep, so they I politic. Do. It's prison politics. Mm-hmm. Niggas who do it generally have nothing to offer besides an inflated sense of self and ego. Mm. They're looking to create situations that could perpetuate. Uh, you know, them yeah. being above everybody. They want to look down at the chaos and be like, I am the god of this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I get it. I get it. That sounds Anybody about right. Anybody come to sounds you about and right. tell you what somebody else said about you. Right. We all know it's just you won't be thinking. The first thing you supposed to say, what did you do when they were saying it? Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's the first exactly. thing you're supposed to say. And when I somebody have. bringing you that bullshit... Oh, yeah? So what you do when they said that? Because it fixes everything. Oh, and most they, of the time, they, ain't get, they don't even know how to come back from that. And most of the time, you find out the real deal anyway, right then and there. Right. It's like, oh. And especially if it was a woman, yeah. it's like, oh, they was trying to get up under. And you allowed that. Shame I done had a nigga, I done had a nigga come back and tell me, yeah, old girl said you motherfucking freaky than a motherfucker. Of course, she said you was. Doing all kind of freak <laughs> shit to her. Mm, I was like, she didn't mm, lie. Mm, mm, mm. Did you get the pussy? 
No, nigga. No, that's what I'm saying. That nigga, he didn't get the pussy. No. Now, this nigga always brings shit like that to me. I like him, though. Yeah. But he brings shit like that to me because yeah. he the type of motherfucker, if he see me with a bro, which is why I try to say to bros who know him, because he worked at a at a barber shop slash hair salon. Yeah. If And he wasn't a barber. He was a barber. Oh, he I said he worked. I was going to say, right. say he was. <laughs> I used to tell bitches, if he see me with you, he going to be grilling you. Because there's a lot of niggas like that. Yeah. I'll be trying to save so many girls. Mm. If them niggas see us together, they going to be grilling you. It's, it's, it's girls who work with comedians, I know. I say, if that nigga ever associate you with me, yeah. he'll never fuck with you again. Mm. Man. <laughs> because them comics... Especially comics. Yeah. When they find out you got association with Corey Holcomb, I'm saying this to all the girls out there who have or want to give me some pussy. A lot of responsibility comes with it. You got to shut the fuck up. These niggas will try to blackball you because you give Corey some pussy. Even though they just work for that other person, that's terrible. I mean, well, like, you work for him, you know? know him, all that shit. Yeah, I done shit. had niggas... Bitches, this one bitch, I knew she wasn't lying. This one nigga was like, anybody but that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That is funny. I was like, yeah, that sound like that nigga right there. I done had niggas like big boss ass niggas. And I know they thought their girl was untouchable. <laughs> I didn't even say it. But they Excuse found me. out I was fucking her. And them motherfuckers, they, they done had it in for me ever since. They say... I mean, because they never would think girls would fuck with me. Yeah. Everybody think I'm some motherfucking bust ass nigga. Right, that's a good thing. <laughs> but right? I'm fucking yeah. all those, <laughs> all the bitches who have expired. <laughs> if you are a woman whose best years are behind you, or if your woman best years are behind her, she wanna give me some pussy. I ain't saying I could get all the new ripe girls with hope. I ain't, I'll be lying if I said. That I could fuck a Tiana Taylor or somebody like that. Right, right, right. I can't get them yet. But all <laughs> them expired bitches. Anyway. <laughs> if they expired, they belong to me. <laughs> Look, sorry. I'm just that's saying. That's funny. That's a lot of those. What's old girl name? Um. Uh, uh, well, I ain't gonna say no name. I'm just trying to give an example. What she look like? Is of an she expired, an expired bitch. bitch. Oh, to him. Uh, Here uh, he go. An expired bitch. For to me. him. Who, who expired? Everybody. Um, yes, I know if I, I can get him if I meet him. Harry Winslow. <laughs> the mom from Family Man. You stupid little motherfucker, dog. That That's an easy win for you. Not, not that old yet. I'm talking about oh, all the bitches. Oh, John Petty, Megan Good. Is all the not. bitches in the '40s. That's them the ones I always get them. Richard Biblical says, Taraji. I smashed the fuck out of Vivica Fox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, don't think she, she might not give me no pussy because I'm fucking won't. one of yeah, her homegirls. And I know uh, she told her. Uh, I know she told her. Uh, yeah. Not like I would want to trade anyway. Mm, 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 mm. Her homegirl, Magic. Somebody she said Countess ain't. Vaughn. They better stop. They better stop. Her homegirl ain't called me. <laughs> She got a who big was count, face. Who was Countess Vaughn? The, the girl off... Um, yeah, the that. big face bitch from uh, the park. What was it? Oh, man. I can't hit her, man. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't hit some big girls, but it's the bottom big. Yeah. The top yeah. heavy big ones, I can't fuck with them. All the bitches with the motherfucking... <laughs> um, um, That's going too far. Just octopus guy. heads and shit like yeah. that. Tempest. You hit Tempest? Oh, it's Tempest. Tempest, oh, nigga, from the He's stupid. Man, y'all motherfuckers is giving me the raggediest motherfuckers. Look at these motherfuckers Coco Brown up there. And then Corey hit Kimmy Gibbler from... Uh, that motherfucker said Precious, Joe Blossom. Smith wife. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? 5150. <laughs> hey, man, I done fucked... Some, fuck that nigga said Flame. <laughs> Claudia, they got Claudia Jordan. I tried to get that pussy one day. She ain't want to give it to me. I believe like, that. I mean, she I like Claudia as, 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 I mean, like, I don't know. Y'all motherfuckers ain't seen. Claudia pretty. She's skinny, though. She, she no, you got to see her feet. That's her what feet. fuck it up. Her she had those crazy. fixed. You know the feet mean something. She had yeah. them fixed. What kind of feet oh she Oh, my had? God. Oh, dog, you ain't, man. God damn, boy. That's <laughs> old. Yeah, she had, like, runner's, runner's feet or she something. She played football she... with no shoes on in college. <laughs> Not everybody Wilson can have it, but she got them fixed. Good for her. Lori Lightfoot. 
Yasm. Yasm. Cold oh, niggas, dog. Your hometown, dog. yeah. He can go back to Chicago. And be <laughs> Yasm, cold niggas, dog. I'm She's talking about, little... like, just think of, think of female rappers of the 90s. Okay. So I can hit all of them, dog. You can hit Boss? Who is Boss? Who's that? Wait, Remember what? the stud, bitch? The stud rapper. What city is she from? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know where the boss was from. Mm-hmm. She was the stud. She dressed like a nigga. She had the glasses on. She was like, I, I want it because I think I hit her. Really? Oh my God. He, what city is she from? Oh. From LA. Hold on. I'm going to tell you right now. If she from LA, it ain't her. Lisa Bonet. I'll probably smash Lisa Bonet if I got the shot. Would you smash right. Lee? Oh, that's right. He a family man. No, nah, he would never do anything like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you a good Christian man, d Mac. That's right. <laughs> Some nigga said gangsta boo. Fuck y'all, nigga. I hit Missy hey, Elliott for the, pull, for the, for the, cause she, she in the Hall of Fame. Oh, I love me some Missy Elliott. She can that's do no wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, hey man, hold on, yeah, hold on. We t- uh, oh, tomorrow night, but there's tomorrow only we gonna tickets. be up there at the ice house with the guys, man. Yeah, Macca but, and motherfucking. But get your tickets on. There's only what? Hell yeah. They gonna yeah. they gonna play the fly. <clears throat> put it up toward the end so people will remember. It. Hey, tomorrow you gonna night. be there? Yeah, Macca gonna be there too. No, okay, I'm oh. sorry. Y'all gonna be there? Hell yeah. Nice. Of course, I'm coming. I'm coming you put tomorrow night. On the spot. Ah, <laughs> no, I don't. I she already told you. They <laughs> <That's> do <you> not. <laughs> He wasn't even here because you're late to the show, but I already told him I was coming. I just found out about it, but I'll be there. I am. I will be there. Now nah, she definitely going to be there. I already told him earlier, hater. You got you to gotta be cool because, see, Mac of friendship ain't easy to win over. See, I remember when I first started coming up here, Mac was like, yeah, hot, Nick. <laughs> He ain't that yes. motherfucker who be smiling with motherfuckers. He don't know that good. I ain't mad at that. I mean, am I though? I won his trust over by not being a fuck nigga. We, 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 we've uh, apprehended too many CIs in this motherfucker for me to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a lesson to be learned. That's in true. Fact, in fact, now see, I have problems with niggas that don't like fake niggas around them, but they fake niggas. Man. Right. Ah, uh, them the motherfuckers I call right out. Nigga, you were looking at me like I ain't shit, you ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I remember when I first met Mecca, I was like, I got to win that one over. <laughs> you knew it too, huh? That yeah. nigga right there don't smile with everybody. Nah. Mecca nah. be like this, yeah. 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 You gotta watch. Yeah, you was happy to see me, nigga. Come give me a hug. Come give me a hug. <laughs> Come here, go back. Come here, go. <laughs> So tomorrow at the Ice House, Pasadena, right? So again, Ice House, Pasadena. We gonna have Darlene in the house because she already said she was coming will, to yeah. you know support. So all them fans that like to see Darlene and Craig in the house and Dina, y'all make sure y'all come. And maybe even little Ice. It is we his birthday tomorrow. Mo- you know oh, it's it right now, right? Tomorrow. It is Ice. Hey man, birthday. y'all gotta reserve some seats, man. I'm gonna reserve some shit, but Yay! I appreciate you as always. Yeah. They, gonna, man, they gonna flood that motherfucker <laughs> tomorrow, Joe. Let's we go. only got like thirty. Ice House seats, Pasadena. Gotta, uh, what time the show? Only like thirty seats left, so y'all better oh. hit the click, clickly, click. Only click. like thirty seats though. He ain't playing that okay. shit. Gonna be sold out, Joe. That shit gonna be sold the fuck out. That'll be nice. Anyway, um, bye guys. They out. No, but most of the motherfuckers who walk up the stairs be oh, some be real. some solid motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, Darlene, you, Darlene, you might have to bring your son with you. He know karate. Well, it's don't his you? birthday. Ice oh, it's his birthday. Yeah, I was gonna show the picture. ice to this motherfucker on the twenty third on Thursday. So yeah. Little Le- ice is all right. Respect. Mm-hmm. Little ice is a very resourceful brother. I, I gotta see you again soon, little ice. Mm-hmm. Little ice is resourceful. Trust me. <laughs> anyway, Craig, pops is in town too. What's up, big old big eyes? No, huh? oh, yeah, no. He should have came through. He should have came through, Tracy. <laughs> Look. Somebody said Kiki Palmer. That ain't my type. A girl like Kiki Palmer, like before I saw her mama, I knew she was gonna look like that. No, oh, stop. That's not necessarily true. Cause no, no, no. I be knowing them girls. You can't fool me with makeup. That's one thing about me. You <clears> cannot <throat> fool me because you went and got a whole bunch of makeup on and dolled yourself up. I see you like mm-hmm. on Avatar. I see you. 
<laughs> I can't I can't be fooled by makeup. I know how you really look. I was at the car show yesterday. And it was oh, right, the auto show, right? LA Auto Show. Yeah, the auto show, man. She had on all this makeup and she was just acting like she was a regular looking girl. I was like, God damn it. This is Ultra Magnus from the Transformers in this motherfucker. They've been doing it so long, they're so used to it. They think that's how, you know what I'm saying? They feel I comfortable. I see how you it. really look. You can't fool me with makeup, man. And I'm saying, like, Kiki Palmer ain't no ugly girl. No, like she's that, not. That ain't no bad bitch, dog. And I'm telling you, bad bitches are very rare. I think it's disrespectful how some of these girls claim seven, eight, nine, ten. That's when you get to seven, that's an attractive girl. And I'm not talking about attractive with makeup on. I'm talking about that's an attractive girl, a seven. Eight, that girl look good to the motherfucker. Nine, damn, they're flawless. Ten, bad bitch. Now, are you really a seven as you claim to be? Do you want to rethink this? Because once you wipe your face off with them little wipes. <laughs> He's so stupid. Or however you take that shit off that you wore to the club. Coconut oil. Are you really who you claim to be? Because it don't matter if you're a seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I find a place for you no matter how you look. But it is unfair for you to hope for oh, thank you, Jay, for eight, nine, ten privileged bitches, and you a five. That's just not fair. I done had a bitch say, "Well, you did it for what's her name." I'm like, "Have you seen what's her name? That bitch look good." God damn it, bitch! You can't be out here in the streets with me holding my hand. Lost your Do you hold mind. hands, Corey? It depends on who it is. What? Oh, I got a whole nother. Some Outlook girls will raise your profile, D. There's some uh, girls out here who motherfucking them bitches. I love bad to hold hands. In a motherfucker. Oh my God. I like to hold hands and then pick on their faces and all that. D, you was holding hands that time we saw you out? I do. I'd like with to do that. With little bro? Yeah. Out there in Ontario. Yeah, I, I was I like hugged to, out. I like to put my hand on the back of their neck. It was like so special. I was like, oh. <laughs> D is affectionate. I'm very affectionate, yeah. Oh, mm. this was recent. No, this is about, how long ago was that? About three years ago? No, two. Two years ago? Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, when you see me out with a booger bitch, let's just keep he this. He ain't holding hands. I ain't saying shit. There's some booger bitches out there who are very resourceful. That's very special, though. To me, that's special. If you see somebody holding hands with some of the, uh oh, what? I got a booger bitch. Give me 30% off at Bloomingdale. <laughs> <laughs> she deserves to get her hand held. And this yeah. is Christmas time. Yeah, that's Ooh, good. that's that yeah. bitch give me her thirty percent. One day she gave me her family discount. I was like, Ooh, wow. Ooh baby, that's like forty percent. Let me kiss your palms in yeah. front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. Ain't nothing wrong with dating a boogaboo. Just like women, ain't nothing wrong with. It, it, if I see a girl out with an ugly dude, that ain't for me to laugh at. I mean, that nigga is above average mentally. I am big daddy. Or financially. Like yeah. Mm. Somebody say booger bears. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. MC Light. I tried to smash MC Light, but I could tell she wasn't feeling me. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted my bitch. Oh. oh hey! Oh, oh, my God, God, I'm joking, God. Light. You know you the home, girl. <sighs> Corey dressed like he has. That ain't funny, nigga. I didn't even see it. Oh, I missed it. Right, so you got to get an airline chick. Yes. Yeah, I will, Monique. Bitches, Hi, worth, Monique. They worth smiling with. All right, fuck it. We was running late. We are going to get to it. Darlene's loose. Talk, talk about bullshit. Ooh, you caught me off guard. God, that came so fast. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I don't even want to talk about that. Everybody's talking about the Diddy stuff. Uh, it came to an end. Scared to talk about it. Diddy be no, putting it came, hits. No, it came to an end anyway. put a hit on your ass. Came to an end anyway. It came to an end. Yeah. You think that's the last bitch who ain't finna? No. Them hoes about to come out the wood. Bro. I didn't say it entirely. I'm saying with him and Homegirl with Cassie. 30 million. No, that, that was just what was released to the public. So it's more. It's way more. It's I don't way care more what she me. got. <clears throat> when a man has a charge, they <laughs> all come out the woodwork. Well, I hope they don't. Well, some of them have before that, but nobody just nobody believed them, and it wasn't for those kind of same things. But you know, there was other people that said right. alleged stuff about them. So I don't know. We'll see. But it seems like everybody's talking about that same thing. So there's mm. other people said alleged stuff about him. 
Well, yeah, because I don't know if that. What, what they did they saying. say? I mean, there's been other people. There's been a couple of guys. One's an artist, and then the what other. What did they say, two, D? Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> but you say other people say other things, but you ain't going <laughs> Yeah, like that Danity uh, Kane girl. She she said Danity Kane. It's it's Who's a what she's white, right? The girl yeah. from the it's a group that was on one of those shows that he was producing. Oh yeah. Remember the one of the sh group shows he was doing and he developed that group from that show, I think. Yeah. Remember? And it's a girl that's in that group. She talks all kind of stuff. She out there just saying all kind of stuff about him. So oh, yeah? I'm not scared. I just don't want to repeat none of the stuff. It's, it's a, it's a, hey, say it's out there. It's just flooded with all that. So you can go somewhere. I'm just saying that case seems to have been closed unless they want to take any kind of um, criminal. Classy. Who knows? Yeah. Who, who knows if it's going to go to a criminal thing or not? I who is know. that girl? That's her. That's, That's the Cassie? Mm -hmm. That's the one that um, allegedly settled out with him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. Uh, anyway, oh, holiday movie. You know, holidays are here. Um, a holiday movie suggestion. Uh, check it out and support our guys, Lil Rail. Does he go still by Little? Because you know when people start doing movies, they change their name. Anyway, Little Rail right. and Ludacris. Right? It's a new mo Christmas movie called Dashing Through the Snow. But what's funny to me is we were driving down the street, my son and I. And we looked and we were like, who are those two guys? And, the, and I thought it was just the bus stop ads, but no, both ads, the movie ad itself and the bus stop ads, uh, Ludacris is darker than um, Lil Rao. I, I thought what? it was, I swear on everything. I sent the pictures in. Did you hear what she just said? Yeah, that's crazy. I've, I've met both of them. Yeah. Ludacris is not darker. At or near as dark on those as pictures, my brother Lil Rio. I thought it was that we actually were on the street, took a picture of the bus stop. I thought, oh, maybe it's the bus stop ad. And then we looked it up for the movie ad. And on the movie ad, they got Ludacris. He literally is the same color, if not darker. Let me than explain Lil something to you, Darlene, just so you can understand that and the rest of the public can understand okay. that. When you are a dark-skinned actor. Okay. Oh, there it is. Look. They do things to try. That's all um, done. So rail doesn't look as dark that's going, that's as ludicrous. This is all airbrush type put well, together. This is what the studio <laughs> wants to put out. Bernie Mac told us. But is that ridiculous? About how they used to do him. Is Maybe right? a shade darker, but that's like two times darker than what ludicrous yeah. is. Am I not? Am I not? Ludicrous is a caramel color. He's pretty light. He's pretty light. He's lighter than that. That is that's, crazy. That, that, that's Bagdoria, right? To call a nigga caramel, caramel. right? Caramel, yeah. yeah cause Can't I call a nigga a flavor. That's actually a stripper's <laughs> name. You say call a nigga a flavor? Yeah, that's a big joke. I got a joke like that. You can't describe a nigga as a flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate, yeah. caramel. Strawberry, man. little strawberry <laughs> red. Yeah. Oh, no, little baby. It ain't just flavors, because my mm. homeboy, Lab Love, who came on the show a couple of times. I don't know if I said this before. I think I said this before on the show. He, uh... We was at this uh, show in Pittsburgh, yeah. <clears throat> and this dude walked past. He was kind of buff. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. my nigga Lav Love said, why big old juicy nigga right there? Oh, oh uh, no. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no. What the fuck you say? <laughs> he did not. <laughs> Lil Rock got that Neapolitan mouth with that pink and that. <laughs> he borrowed Corey's new gloss. <laughs> 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 it's got to be something to be dark with pink lips, man. Oh, oh, see, look. No, he's still dark there. Did they? Wait. What? I guess so. Look, Ludacris is even darker than the... Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I was just like, who? Wait, what? Anyway, so... I'm glad to see my brothers working out here. Hell yeah, a little real getting that bread. There man. you go. Real, and man. that's Disney, by the way. It is streaming already, so... And again, oh, directed by the homie, Tim Story. What up, Tim? Good for you. Go get it. And Angelino, local fella. So go ahead, all of them. So good for them. Um, moving on, so... You know how we, 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 we brought up many stories like this where people will put their business out there on social media. This was interesting because this was actually just found, but apparently um, Brad Pitt's adopted son, Pax, that's his name, P-A-X. He's black? No, he's adopted, uh, I believe, from the Philippines. Um, anyway, he, he's older now. They've had him since he was three years old, I believe. Um, but back in 2020, so somebody just recently uncovered this, though, because it was... Can we guess? What do you mean? <laughs> Can you guess what? What the kid said? 
Oh, it's something he said? Yeah, it's something the kid posted. And nobody else saw it because it was in his stories. But then a, a, a classmate released it, supposedly. Do you what did he say? Will, Will couldn't take no dick? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> no, he actually put out a whole huge thing dissing Brad directly. Like it just said, but all his friends and, pe and people could see it from his school. And it said, Happy Father's Day um, to this world class asshole. And Wait, it, this from a boy who got adopted? Yeah, yeah and he's been with us since he was 19. He said, you, time and time again. He'll be eating dog oxtails. Well, wait, he, well, <laughs> well not, but he, the, here's the thing now. Um, he, was, he said that he put that out about his dad, but then he, they, majority of the kids cited and went with the mom, Angelina Jolie. Well, that's going to happen every time. Dude. Right, so he did this they after the fact. show you who Angela Jolie is. Yeah. And that's, that's him now with her, older. What does and he then, say? Read it, dude. Okay, so it says, he said to him, you time and time again prove yourself to be a terrible and despicable person. You have no consideration or empathy towards your youngest, four youngest children who tremble in fear when in your presence. You will never understand the damage you've done to my family, be, to my family, not yours, to my family because you are incapable of doing Don't so. Don't that sound like a bitch? Yeah. That sound like a bitch yeah. talking. And then he went on and on. He went on and on. It's longer than that. And then he ends it. So happy Father's Day to you, fucking awful human being. Can you imagine that? Yeah. That's so they just found this. It was in 2020. They confirmed that it came from his account. He put it on his Insta stories, and it stayed there for all this time. So nobody had known that, that he did that. So, wow. That's when he was young. Well, no, that's mm -hmm. like he's never around. Brad, no, he I'm stays with the mom. Well, damn, look who that you got the picture over there. Look at that little yeah, boy that's him. Up. No, that's him. That was when he was little. No, that little boy grew up to be a nice looking woman. Oh, you stupid. But that's him <laughs> with the Angelina now, older. Yeah. I would never adopt a child. Of a different race. You might be able to stay with me for a couple of weeks, but I'm not finna adopt no child. Hmm. Unless paperwork can be made where this child must... Obey me until he's 20. He must take all forms of punishment I'm willing to give until he's 20. There has to be some real, <clears throat> real paperwork behind adopting a child. Look at this family. Well, you know, she did. Apparently. You, do you? Who's going to pay attention to Brad in this house? <laughs> well, apparently that's why you see he's not in the picture. They divorced and he left because... Allegedly, the reason why behind the divorce was that she kept adopting all these children, even though they had their own. They have some biological children. Can you imagine a bitch there. who liked to adopt little kids? And just continue to go. The now, first one, you might be like, damn. Now you want to hear his response, what he said? Who, Brad? Yeah. He yeah, has, I want to hear what Brad he said. said he, Look at this <laughs> Hollywood political response. <laughs> I was really on my back and chained to a system when child services was called, Brad has admitted. And you know after that, we, can, meaning him and Angelina, have been able to work together sort, to try and sort this out. We're both doing our best. I heard one lawyer say, no one wins in court, it's just a matter of who gets hurt worse. And it seems to be true. You spend a year just focused on building a case to prove your point and why you're, why you're right and why they're wrong. And it's just an investment in uh, vitriolic hatred. So... Well, they took Angelina's side. They're just with her. He rarely sees them. He does, I don't even think Take so. Take back to the pal. Right. He's 19 now, so right. now he just he sticks with her, as you see. It, it don't matter if he's 19. He's not mentally, he's not mentally <laughs> stable making a statement about the man That's true. who saved him from karate movies. Yeah. You know what? Oh, my God. I cannot. Watch this one. Uh, Quick. Ah. I can't with this. Oh. Shut the fuck up. You rich, Shut man. the fuck up, man. These kids, man, think and I you're don't stupid, like that. man. Right. And I don't like how people are using social media for their, you know, the, thing, the differences and stuff and what's going on in their families. Like, just divorces, everything's being out there. People are really using it. For, the, for what? What's the advantage? I don't understand. What, the advantage they want people. But by, by putting stuff out in social media, do they want, then I guess what it is, Because empathy? nobody would have brought him so up they want empathy for the, if he wasn't know. on social media. Nobody gives a fuck about that kid. No, he was like three years old when they adopted him. He's 19 three now. Three years old, grow up to hate the daddy. Yeah, that's crazy. Hmm. That's crazy. But yeah. D, this, this stat needs to be out there. Do you know <clears throat> the, destruct, the destruction that women put out in the world if they are... The single mom raising the child versus two-parent households or if the dad raised the child. 
Do you know the destruction women oh. put in the world? Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm just saying this is it. not Corey's opinion. <clears throat> they have facts showing what happens when the single mom raises the child. I know. I believe it. That's why I've never, I would never do something like that. Like I said, and thank God anyway, that my kid's dad is, hey, okay, good dad. Yeah, good dad. woman's going to turn the children against you every time. They're going to start the schmear kids. Every thing, time? Like no, schmear let's not do that. Not every Especially time. Especially adopted kids. They coming from a different type of trauma. And that and that world, they have both famous parents. I mean, who knows? And then the money. Apparently, a big fight happened. It still, was a couple of years ago. A big fight on a private jet happened between Brad and that kid. That was a The best years chance ago. you have of having a relationship with your child is if you at rock bottom in life because the woman will pity you. These two are these two. Especially are if you ugly and at rock bottom, she pities you then. But when the woman and you are not together, and they know <laughs> it don't stop nothing, right? The smear campaign it's kicks in, uh. and you know, certain, <clears throat> at a certain point, after a certain age, if a kid is adopted too late, they may not be able to receive love. Because love is something Thank that you. is is built through commonality and connection with the parent early in life. Some people don't view commonality and connection as a way to build and bond with people. They only view it as a tool to get what they want from people. And can you imagine that situation? So, so he a, came from right. Know, so if you get another a three, country. four year old, five year old kid, they just gonna mirror that person that they call in parent. So they can get what they lack from them, but they're not necessarily looking to love, mm. or they don't really know how to love. So it, it, it's you know that's a very tough situation. Yeah, for that's Brad. crazy. So I don't know. Look at that. Mm, that's him on the left. Look, he looks miserable. That's his little that daughter. Little boy? That little daughter in the front on the left, in the middle. You mean the little girl that's dressed like a boy? Yeah, I know. Bless her heart. Was that one of them <laughs> latest <laughs> pictures of her? No. Did you put no. up there earlier? Oh, earlier? Of yeah. just the, the of Angelina. How the girl how the girl look now? Which one? Oh, that's her. She's with right the there head. in the beige, yeah. That's the, the head. Dark. I saw the head. You know what? <laughs> I can't leave her little head. The head, she need a bang. Oh, believe her. Angelina alone. need a stylist coming over, getting up, bang. I can't with And that ain't the boy that was talking crazy. Yeah, it is with the with the no, that's the older one. Pat. I was gonna say that ain't him. That boy right there got a smile on his face. He just had some. That's more the other one. They, they got two. He just two got some. rotted. He cool. I can't with this guy anyway. Oh, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> so that's terrible. Oh, what? That's terrible that that's all I know all they just on. got rotted face on them little boys from Hollywood. He I looks miserable. Look. Look. He's thinking I'd be talking bullshit, man. That's, <laughs> that's terrible. Anyway, what they say? Uh, Craig's. Think you a philosopher, nigga. I am, nigga. You know how much I'm in his own right. Yeah, you right, know what dude. I had to do Somebody to be here, nigga, yeah. today or just in general, motherfucker. I got the right to say what the fuck oh, that's I'm him saying. now, or is that the other brother? Because there's you know, there's two of them. That ain't the one that was talking crazy about bread. That's not that's not Pax, is it? Because they got the other one, Pax P A X, and then the other one is uh, god, I can't remember the name of it. The look, the look, um, girl from um. The country where they Africa? jack ships. Africa. Oh, Somalia. Yeah. Somalia. Yeah. Um, she's doing good. And she's in college right now. Angelina. So she old enough to um, talk to... Um, damn, that's fucked up. She don't need my help. I can't get her. Who, Angelina? She's single. Not Angelina. I'm talking about... The daughter. Oh, me. Yeah. The boat jacket. Oh, let's stop now. Come on. <laughs> the high seas criminal. Oh. Right. Bring your little boat jacket ass over here. You're old enough not to find out how this world go. Yeah, yeah. That's really Bring the rag before we start. I ain't going to be here that long. <laughs> Uh, anyway, all right, moving on. Moving on to something thing. completely different. Shit. All right, Deion Sanders back in the news. Huh? Oh, that's him now? Oh, wow. He got big. Oh, yeah, he looks the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to hear him talk to know what I need to know. He's, he might he's be mad he ain't white. No, I don't know. He's a big fella, you though. You think so? I mean, that's, come on, man. Were you raised around rich Oh, he's 19 people, now. Okay. And you ain't white. It's got to be some level of uh, an identity crisis where you're like, why don't I look like them? Maybe. Yeah, like when the, uh, the the furniture delivery people get there, they be like, "Hey, where's the back door? You you the cook?" Like, oh, I talk, I talk. I oh, live out. Oh, hold on now. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's play. Let's, let's move. It. I was adopted, you fucker. <laughs> 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 
Oh, fuck out I of cannot. He's doing the delayed talk, the delayed <laughs> sound. I'm not a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get. I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is him. Look at that. He's in- <laughs> Oh, hey, he actually nice kick. connected. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, boy, them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers tell these movies don't be my shit. No. I, I can't watch them now that I'm older. They're not yeah. all Chinese. I see Chinese the racism story. behind them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but they're not all Chinese. Look at this shit. He's stupid. All right, moving on. Yeah, Paulo Francisco had the funniest joke about motherfucking Jackie Chan. What did he say? He's the nicest guy in the world. He's always getting into fights. <laughs> oh. Hey, where you going? Uh, I go to school. Get him. Ouch, 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 ouch. Pablo Francisco, one of the funniest comics out there, I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, moving on. Your boy Deion Sanders, he's back in the news. I don't see what's so bad about this, though. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Another toe gone? What happened? No, he's saying um, he's adamant that money would, wouldn't be the way uh, that Colorado football program will recruit its players. He said, we're not an ATM. That's not going to happen here, Sanders said during a press conference earlier today. He, said if, he, said, he said, if you come... So you come, know what them players going to do? Stop! Stop! He said... <laughs> what about me, coach? <laughs> he said, if you come to Colorado to play football for me and the Colorado Buffaloes, it's because you really want to play football and receive a wonderful education and all the business stuff will be handled on the Chat back end gone, if that's the case. He said, if a kid ain't even faithful to his girlfriend, you think he's going to be faithful to a school? Come on. He, he said, ain't running game now? That's what he said. He said, I wish the NCAA would do um, if you're committed somewhere that you can't go any other visits. No, nah, these kids getting that bread now, homie, and then they like, fuck the school. What's the little girl name who ain't even showing up oh, no more? Oh, the, ra- the, the, the runner. The yeah, runner will not no, show up. No, I'm talking up. about no, that they're... bitch at LSU. That bitch like, motherfuck this school. I got that paper now, Oh, bitch. I thought you were talking about the, the track girl because they won't let her run because she got, the, right, allegedly bad grades. Oh, and that's uh, why they're keeping it. Well, they it say them. whatever they say, but I'm saying, old girl, I think her name is Angel Reese. Angel Reese, yeah. Mm. She got some money. So when that coach was like, you got to get to practice. Nope. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, he going to hurt himself. <laughs> Wait. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sometimes they had a dog bark. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He'd be like, yeah, that dog bark when he dog. swing. The main what? dog with me. They had a dog uh-huh. sound sometimes. I cannot. I have prepared for this day. They had a skinny fighter like. Oh, now he's Indian. this guy. Okay, so last thing. This is the craziest thing I've heard in a long time. I don't even know how to. If I couldn't believe that this is actually true. So uh, apparently, a 14-year-old was sexually assaulted while visiting. Her grandparents, now get this, I mean, what did they expect? At a family-friendly nudist colony where her grandparents live. Wait, what? A a Wisconsin man allegedly molested a 14-year-old family friend while she was visiting her grandparents at a family-friendly, does that sound, nudist club in Minnesota. He knew she was 14? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, he need to be thrown under the jail. He was 69. He's charged with third degree uh, he is 69. criminal. He's 69. Oh. oh, God, Court. I didn't know. Because it's mine. You see where it go? You anyway. talk about me and some motherfucker going to take some pussy at a nudist colony, even though who the fuck going to send a 14-year-old to yeah, a nudist colony? The, what the hell? I mean, is that even, that don't even sound, is this that legal? About, this can't be real. I, it's a, say Does it's she try to fight him off? They got his name. Oh, I, 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 I'm just fucking with you. Anyway, I think that's just the craziest thing ever. I, I, I thought it was <laughs> fake. I was like, no, it's, that's what they got his name. They got pictures, everything. So, mm. anyway, it's crazy. <laughs> I'll be laughing at them damn karate schools where they be teaching girls karate. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? What do you mean, girls? <laughs> them girls who be doing karate, they make them think they really could take down a motherfucker. Them girls be like, yeah, come here, bitch, get her. Ow, get her. and they'll be like, ow. Uh-huh. Lay her. I don't get why karate schools got windows. You could just look in the window and steal the move. Because whatever they do, you just, oh. no, he, he, no. Oh, that's how you. No, do it. 
No, oh, because that's I why you look there. like that. Because the, cause the sensei is not there to correct you. You'll be doing it all wrong. Fuck your wrist up. Put that shit in your pocket. Oh. All sensations with hairy chest can't fight for real. That's just a front. I can't. Like Christian comics. Again, happy birthday, Ice. He's, <laughs> he's been a black belt since the age of 10. Mm-hmm. What happened? I said, uh, congratulations, Ice. He, was, he made a black belt when he was 10 years old. Did he? Yeah, we, used to, we, did, we went to his school three days out of the week for six years they straight. They were scared of him back then. From six he, years straight to age 10. He had the ponytail uh, three like days the good fun kung fu uh, fighters back then. Uh, uh, that is true. He did. I don't give a fuck. Hey, up. there he is. Hi, baby. Happy a, birthday, Mr. Restart. Happy birthday. You think it's a 10-year-old that could whoop you Oh, look, that's the first time he huh? met you. Look, that was back when we used to do the show at the uh, Congress. Damn, who told you oh, to put that picture up? <laughs> that's Carl Winslow, Corey. You right can't hide from he your said past. Carl Winslow. That's Corey. That was when Ice came to one of the first shows that we had at the Conga Room. <laughs> he ain't shit, Craig. That's Corey. Oh. About $2.90 in that one? Look, I don't know. They say Bruce Holcomb. Look, there go Corey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That is crazy. You got yourself together, Corey. All right. Uh-huh. Clayton Thomas' daddy. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. All right, I know it's up running late, nine fifty eight. All right. Well anyway, so that's it. That was crazy. I just thought don't don't I don't even know why that exists. Please remove a nudist colony that and don't take say Corey Winslow. Y'all ain't shit, man. Oh God. Anyway. All right. There we go. All right, that's it. Corey Sapp. Are we doing the song? Because I got some I brought I wrote yeah, some more. What bars. time is it? Uh, 9.58, it is late. Craig, what, what's up? How you feeling? Yeah, He's hella hey, tired, man, give he me said. five minutes. We'll be right back. 50 five minutes. 50, no. Nick.
50 show. The 5150 show. God. Let me know when we back. We back on. That's what's up. Thanksgiving is motherfucking Thursday night. All you bitches know not to call him. Don't call him. Quit playing yourself. <laughs> that phone going to voicemail till Sunday night, bitch. All the meals yeah. out on the freeway. <laughs> it, it, right. All that shit. <sighs> Just let me drop this motherfucking pile for you. All right. Come on. Let me put it in the car. Okay. 
Them tent niggas about to be burping for this <laughs> month. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you giving me a pie for a bitch. I can't take this to my family and oh, trust oh what God. you made. Hilarious. Thanksgiving <sighs> drama. <clears throat> Corey Whitlock. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> A ball hokum, y'all ain't shit, nigga. <laughs> you got you got yourself <laughs> together though, since then. That was that was fourteen years ago. Can't believe it. That was. Yeah, that was that first year we were at um, the Grammy Museum. Is that yes, what that is? Yes. Wow. Yes. I remember that shit. when we were at the um. I'm gonna say big boy at hokum. the conga room. Yes. Don't eat do and drive. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, nigga, we got to try to come up with this freestyle. I don't give a fuck what no motherfucker say. You don't believe me? We be coming up with this shit off the top of the dome. You dig what I'm saying? We come up with the hook, and then we just go. Give it to me. Hey. Uh. God. Uh. Somebody got to say this shit, because uh, uh, either niggas don't know or they hoes. Uh. We motherfucking about to go in with the hook of this song. Can you bump it a little more? Uh-oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This is a cut uh -huh. right here. Uh-oh. What? Come on, yeah. Craig started. When? Oh, ass niggas talking about me. This, this is, is how you play it like a G. G. He said what? Well, what did you say? He said what? Well, what did you say? When ho ass, ass niggas talk about, about me. me, this is how you play it like a G. He said what? Well, what did you say? He said what? He said what? Well, what did you say? If a bitch ass nigga <laughs> talking about your boy, you supposed to slap him like he a Tonka toy. If you my man, why the fuck he get to say that? If you my man, how the fuck he get to play that? Every motherfucker that don't like me, if you my friend, this is what you gotta do. Slap a nigga in the face, Push his woman in the pool. Check it out. Who oh, ass niggas talking about me? This is how you play it like a G. He said what? Well, what did you say? Huh? He said what? <laughs> well, what did you say? Hey, them ho ass niggas talking about me. This is how you play it like a G. He said what? Well, what did you say? Yeah. He said what? Well, what did you say? Craig. No, Craig. You always got something to say about another nigga who's far away. Won't say it in his face and play. You the type of nigga to, to, to try to destroy the day. And I fucked up, but I'm back on. Look, nigga, I heard about you. A bird went around, said you was chirping. Heard you was lurking, cause you wanted my spot, my nigga. And you ain't never been hot, my nigga. Get in the trenches and work. I know it hurts to see me rocking a new shirt that you can't afford. Your sword is your tongue. You a bitch, nigga, and about to get your bell rung. Yeah, whole ass niggas, niggas talking talk about me. me. This is how you play it like, like a G. G. You said what? Well, what did you say? Uh. You said what? Well, what did you say? Hey, when the whole ass niggas talking, talking about me. me. This is how you play hey, it like a G. G. He said what? Well, what did you say? Oh, yeah. He <laughs> said what? Well, what did you say? Darlene. Okay, I've been wanting to get some things off my mind. Don't get it twisted. I'm really not blind. Like this meanie likes to tease me. I brush it off with ease and say, Negro, please. But when someone does me wrong or real foul, I tell you this. You may want to record it so you just don't miss a single word that I say. Because it's female, don't play. Yeah. So like Christmas time, go on your merry way. Or like Santa, go on, get on your sleigh and leave, scram, skedaddle, or vamanos before you get these dos manos in your face. Don't be a disgrace. Oh, a puppy is talking, talking about me. me. This is how you play it like a G. He said what? Well, what did you say? Yeah. He said what? Well, what did, what did you, you say? say? When ho ass niggas talk, talk about, about me. me. This is how you play it like, like a, a G. G. He said what? Well, what did you say? He said what? Well, what did you say? I don't care what bitch he told you I fuck. If you was my homie, that nigga had to duck. But you listen to everything he said. What? You like it? Was yeah. you scared? Hey. I ain't the nigga to play. I'm telling you now, it's a lot of niggas gay. Hey. And when they see me out with these hoes, it's the wrong thing to grow. It's called their ego. They don't like me. They wife might dike me. Hey, Corey Holcomb in the house. Put this dick in your motherfucking mouth. 
whole ass nigga talk about me. This is how you play it like a G. He said what? Well, what did you say? He said what? He said what? Well, what did you say? Who are sneakers talking about me? This is how you play it like Michael Blackson. He said what? Well, what did you say? He said what? He got more. What up? Apologies if I scare you with all this smack talk. Can't help it. Hey. I'm OGD and I do walk the walk. This my alter ego when they push me to rhyme. I get all worked up. I might commit a crime, but I won't. Cause <laughs> hey. laugh, but I won't. I just hey. can't do that time. I like my freedom too hey. much. So just relax. I suggest you keep your cool around D. This way you'll never have to see that side of usual sweet me. Hey, my girl, you a kid. My nigga, you a kid, you banking on the fib. When you hit a bitch, it's probably more like a trib. You can't even touch the bitch in her ribs. Cause you got a short dick like a midget. My nigga, I'ma play you like a, uh, a what is that shit called, a twidget or a fucking gidget, a gadget, a no. rabbit. Uh, she said I fucked in the ass once some more, but she told you I didn't wear rubber with the hoe. Oh. The shit in the tub, I wiped it off. Hey, when I fuck them hoes, I don't go soft. Hey. I get lost all in the womb. Every time I nut, my throat goes boom. Ooh. Hey, oh. see Hokum in the place. <laughs> Tell that kid to get the fuck out of my face. Hey. Yeah. yeah. D hey. got another verse. What? You got another verse. Hey. You got okay. another verse. Go. Okay. go ahead, D, and let it burst. I'm trying. I don't usually trip off the things they say. It's usually about women or someone who's gay. If they haven't evolved by now, shit, that way they'll stay. So I don't waste my energy on things I can't switch. And unlike the broads they talk about, I ain't no bitch. And surely ain't no snitch. So I advise you to show me some respect. Or like someone in the Wu-Tang said, protect your neck. <laughs> OS niggas talking about me. At least I can see better than D. You said what? Well, what did you say? He Peter said what? what? Well, and then what, what did, did you say? Ho niggas talking that me. shit. You know you can lick a dick. Oh. You said what? And then what did you say? Craig, you got some more? Hey, said, fuck it. What? <laughs> You live foul, you on the prowl, and don't know how, you gonna make it. You think success is for the taking. You don't wanna put the work in, you Jamaican. Not, need to get a job, so you know what it takes to be a nigga that don't rob, and do shit honestly. You copy me and then vomit me, cause you don't have your own lifestyle. You a whole nigga, needs the plow, to get the dust out your eye, my nigga. You a bitch ass guy. Leather seats burn your ass oh, in the I summer. <laughs> that's why I ride in a Hummer. The bitch gave me pussy, that's a bummer. She probably needed money, goddammit. I'm a stunner. See, Hope, know how these goals be starving. I fuck this bitch named Marvin. I say, bitch, is that your real name? She say, give me my money, motherfucker. This is all a game. Huh. It's a bitch in here I used to fuck with, always making a comment like, who hurts you? Uh oh. Bitch, I'm the same nigga that burnt you and turned you. Uh oh. After I learned you. Them pills, I took them all but nine in case another bitch burned me cause she fine. I ain't take the whole prescription ever. Hey, I hit the bitch raw. I let her nut on me and fuck up the sheets. Hey, yeah. hey bitch, skeet, skeet, skeet. Skeet. Tell your mom I wanna fuck her too. Yeah. How old is your daughter? Oh, bitch, I thought you knew. Hey. Yeah. They gonna cut this video and tag bitches I fuck with, trying to fuck up my relationship. Uh -uh. I say wow shit, that's the truth. I don't like bitch. your daughter, bitch. Uh -oh. I don't like her. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I might strike her. I don't like your daughter, bitch. The game's gonna dike her. It's Trina there, it's Trina there, it's <laughs> Trina there. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Your fight code too low to be a hoe. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Bitch, you need to go. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Take your ass to the stove. It's Trina there, it's Trina there, it's Trina there. I'm cold like 50 below. Bitch, you might touch me and freeze. That's how it go. I'm ashamed of myself. I used to like you. Bitch, now I'm on to the next hoe who looks more like a woman that a blow and get up and go when I tell her it's time to resign to another place where somebody might find you. Somebody say, who Marvin, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> we freestyling. We freestyling. Try to do better. 
Hey, do better. We're going to have some of these motherfuckers from the chat room come up here and freestyle. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers come up here and freestyle. See what y'all bars like on the freestyle side of the game. Ain't on no shame. Side of hey. Hey, bitches, stop asking niggas what they doing Thursday. Not going to be with you. If you got to ask this late, he not going to be with you. <laughs> How about gonna, that? He going to say he has the flu. He going to say he got the, the flu. flu. <laughs> it's another bitch he got to do. Because mm. on that dick, she chew. Mm. Thanks, Ice Craig. That brew. <laughs> I this. thought you knew. Uh-oh. A pussy full of goo. When I finish, bitch, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you, bitch? I done nutted. Cut it. Nut it and cut it. Fuck it. I love it. The bitch, oh. she studded. After I nutted, I left the oven empty. Cause I stole her turkey. Bitch, because you didn't jerk me. I got the baby oil in the room for a reason. Not jagging my dick, that's like treason. Bitch, you ain't pleasing. Your boy, so get the fuck out. It's the season. <laughs> the bitch is a predator. Three or four kids, you can credit her. <laughs> Two, that she don't take care of because she's through. Bitch ain't never had nothing but witches, bro. She will put a spell on you if you tell her to <laughs> do what she's supposed to do. She's an out of pocket bitch and she don't know through. L. Frank say, let him come freestyle. Remember L. Frank. All right, L. Frank. Fuck else out there. You in California, boy? See? Hell no. Somebody say Hilarious post Marvin guy. Clarity. Fuck y'all. Soup bone hoker. <laughs> y'all ain't shit, dog. And it's Christmas time. Don't come to the vet. Get some glasses like me and improve your vision. Stay in your lane. That's a wise decision. Why? The <laughs> niggas be isn't. <laughs> hey, hey, check it out. Nigga chilling this week. Thank God. Once again, thank you, Miami, for such a good time last week. Motherfucking life, it ain't easy, Mm-mm. but goddammit, we gonna make it greasy and sleazy, as long as you please me. Got they got the fly up. What's that for? The Syracuse Funny Bone. Craig on this show. Ooh. Hell yeah, we in there. Craig yeah. on this show. We in there. Let's Craig go coming to Syracuse. Syracuse. So get your tickets, y'all. Let's go. Get your tickets, y'all. <laughs> December 1st and 2nd. That's a Friday and Saturday. Out there in cold ass Syracuse. Well, y'all hoop squad ain't. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that on the 30th, I'm at Mike Drop in San Diego, then I'll be the next day and I'll be in Syracuse. Damn. Yeah, yeah. back to back to back. Craig about to be traveling. Now, San Diego San won. No yeah. San Diego. San Diego. Club Mike Drop, me and Big Wells Drop. Vagina side of the game. Somebody say, coming soon, surviving Marvin's side of the game. Fuck y'all, nigga. <laughs> I'm going to be at Syracuse. T. Freeman, we going to look for you, brother. Syracuse. Make them laugh, Craig. Hey, we going to have a ball. And tomorrow, I mean, there's a bunch, what is it? It's a bunch of comedians on that show, right? Like, oh, yeah. He say, Squancho hosting it. Oh, nice. So they'll be nice. Okay. What happened? Y'all gonna show that flyer? For tomorrow? There it is. There it is. I don't know how many tickets are left, though. Comedy Showcase, November 22nd, 10 p.m., hosted by Scroncho. What's that address? 24 North Mentor Avenue, Pasadena, California, 91106. Get them tickets, whatever left. Whatever's left. We gonna be in the house. 10 p.m. Putting these jokes in your motherfucking mouth. If you act up, get out. They got a lot of restaurants out here. What time does the show start? 10, so they can go eat. 10 p.m., yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You get to eat. They oh, got a lot of restaurants in Pasadena. Ready for they got dope restaurants like yeah. Popeyes and shit. <laughs> they can get some of them motherfucking hot ass wings. Craig, you got something you want to plug more? Hell oh, yeah. Uh, San Diego mic drop September 30th. Syracuse, what's the name of the club? Funny Bone. What happened to- yeah, Oh my good. God, my water. Oh, Purchase man. all the chill. Y'all ain't trying to ec- electrocute everybody and shit. Oh, Purchase all the chill. Well, ain't got a flow together this week. She kicked the water over oh, and shit. Yeah, I kicked that damn water. Purchase all them chill. Yo, this album. is what I'm saying. This Halloween, I mean, this uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Oh, Jesus Christ. This Thanksgiving, man, it's right around the corner, man. 5150. Call somebody you love and just tell them you love them. The world is cold. We always running. Water run out 
trying to get that money. Call somebody you love. Tell them you love them. We're going to wrap this shit the fuck on up. 51, 50. We said some shit that's nifty. And if you don't like what we said tonight, eat the dick quickly. Eat the dick <laughs> quickly. everybody. Eat the dick quickly. Quickly. Fast. Fast. Eat the dick fast. 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 Eat the dick fast. Fast. Eat the dick fast, bitch. Eat the dick fast, bitch. Fast. Oh, that is not right, Bismarck. Oh, I bet a nut for this next week special go off. Fuck fast. Ready to oh. cut? Fuck hey, fast. Motherfucker, what's up? <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah. Fifty one fifty show. Fifty one. 